Hi there! Today we're gonna talk about tags and how tags might be used for annotation purposes. So we have some project here and I already have created a class called tag and this class is associated with a rectangular shape. Let's take a look at the data. We have three images here and the images look the following, the following way. So this is the first one, second one and the last one. So you see that cats are labeled with rectangles here. But what we might want to do in addition is to add some extra information, some extra attributes to the entire image or to individual cats. So let's see how we can achieve that. So let's close uh, labeling interface and go to text section. No text here yet, so let's create. Let's create several of them. The first tag will be used to characterize the entire image. So let's create a tag called indoor and just say that this tag is applicable to images only. And this tag has uh, none, uh, no value, uh, none. And save that. Let's create another tag. This time we call it outdoor. Again, it's to characterize the image and uh, it's applicable only to image and, and the uh, possible values types is none. Okay, save that. Now let's create several tags that will be associated with uh, cats. Add tag. So the first one we might use say name. Uh, the, this one will be applicable to objects of a class cat and we have several possible choices for value types. So the name will be defined as text, so we pick uh, this option and uh, create. Let's create another attribute for cat. Let's call it age. The same procedure applicable to objects only of class cat and this, this time the value type is number. Save. And the last one. So I, I just want to illustrate all the possible types here. So uh, let's let it be say emotions. Objects only of class cat. And this one, it will be one of value. The type will be one of. So let's create the first value, say calm. Let's create the second one, say nervous. And the last one, about to fight, extremely nervous. So we have defined all the possible values. Let's save that. Maybe one more thing to do here is to define hotkeys. So let's just use uh, these two tags and define hotkeys for them. So the hotkey for indoor will be I. Save that. And let's define the hotkey for outdoor. Oh. And that's it. Now let's go and label our data with these tags. So this is our drawer image and I might want to enable uh, to put uh, the tag outdoor. And I might do that say by pressing a hotkey. And you see here the tag appeared. So let's go to the next image and also click uh, O uh, to have this uh, tag associated with the entire image. So the last image, we can say click here, so it's indoor image, indoor, and we have uh, associated tag here. 
Now let's go and label cats. The first image. Maybe I don't need image properties anymore. I will hide that. And I can select an object, a cat, and pick uh, attributes. So say edge, age. Uh, we can uh, put floor point values here, for example, say and five, uh, three and a half years. Uh, say emotion. So it's something between nervous and about to fight. So let it be nervous. Say and name. So let it be Molly. Now we have labeled the first cat. Let's take a look at the properties that we have defined. And let's label the second. The second cat. Again, edge, say four. Motion. Nervous. Name, say tiger. Again, we can uh, show all the tag values. Let's proceed and label uh, several more cats. So, I have no doubt that these two are about to fight, so I pick that value for the first one and the same value for the second one. Maybe we have no further information about age and names, so we just keep these two tags. And the last one. Oh, those are calm. So let's select motion calm. That's the first one. And the same for the second cat. So and let's see the result. We see that uh, the tags, uh, uh, the cats are now uh, tagged. So tags uh, play quite an important role in supervised lab. Uh, we have looked how to use them inside uh, labeling interface for images, but text also available in uh, labeling interfaces uh, for videos and 3D point clouds. So that's, they provide quite powerful annotation instrument. In addition, text might be used to do some aspects of data management and uh, labeling at scale procedures, but uh, that would be a topic for another video. So I think that's it and thank you, bye.